Hi, long time no see. Welcome back to the home of movies. Let's dive straight into it with this fantasy. Ariel is a mermaid princess, and the youngest daughter of the merpeople's king, King Triton. She is fascinated by the human world, despite having never seen it because Triton forbade all merfolk from traveling to the surface, after Ariel's mother was murdered by a human. With the help of her best friend, Flounder, a sergeant major, and Scuttle, a northern gannet, Ariel gathers human artifacts. Triton scolds Ariel for missing the coral moon meeting she was scheduled to attend with her sisters. She then witnesses fireworks over the ocean, and surfaces to get a better look. The fireworks are from Prince Eric's ship, a prince of a nearby island kingdom. Ariel overhears Eric discussing his desire to explore the unknown and aid the people of his kingdom with Prime Minister Grimsby. A storm approaches, and the ship collides with the rocks, causing everyone to seek refuge in the lifeboats. Ariel saves Eric and brings him to shore, where she uses her siren voice to save his life. She escapes before he regains consciousness. Eric's mother, Queen Selina, forbids him from sailing again after he heals. Ariel's sisters make remarks about her lack of attention. Triton questions Sebastian after overhearing this and discovers how she saved a human's life. Triton visits Ariel's cave to confront her. When she refuses to pledge never to return to the surface, Triton smashes her collection of human items. Following Triton's departure, Ariel is approached by a pair of electrically powered moray eels that show her an image of sea witch, Ursula, Triton's sister, and Ariel's aunt, who offers to assist Ariel. Ariel follows the eels to Ursula's lair, where she offers a deal, she will turn Ariel into a human for three days, during which time Ariel must obtain a true love's kiss from Eric in order to remain human permanently. If she fails, she will revert to her mermaid form and become Ursula's possession. Ariel must give up her tail, the ability to breathe underwater, and her siren voice in order to become human, the last of which Ursula will keep in a nautilus shell she wears around her neck. Ariel agrees and receives human legs. Flounder and Sebastian drag her to the surface, where she is rescued by a fisherman, who transports her to the island kingdom, and Eric's palace. When Eric learns of Ariel's arrival, he hurries to meet her after desperately looking for the lady who saved his life. Ariel feels excited, but her lack of voice causes Eric to turn away. Later that evening, Ariel explores the castle and discovers Eric's collection of objects collected over his travels. Eric and Ariel spend time looking through his collection together. The following day, Eric shows Ariel around the kingdom. Sebastian, who has been following Ariel on land, notices that Ursula has inserted a glitch in the spell, making Ariel to forget that she needs to kiss Eric. Sebastian, Scuttle, and Flounder decide to force the couple to kiss. They almost succeed, but are foiled by Ursula's eels. Ursula is angry by the close call and disguises herself as Vanessa, a lovely young woman, and using Ariel's siren voice to hypnotize Eric. Ariel and her friends learn the next morning that Eric would announce his engagement to Vanessa later that day. Scuttle uncovers Vanessa's true identity and notifies Ariel, who hurries to the engagement party and confronts Ursula in order to break the Nautilus shell that is wrapped around her neck. Ariel's voice is restored, and Eric's enchantment is shattered. But before they can kiss, the sun sets, and Ariel returns to her mermaid form, while Vanessa returns to her actual form as Ursula. Ursula takes Ariel and dives back into the sea, where Triton confronts them. Triton trades himself for Ariel, and he is transformed to dust by Ursula's eel since the agreement Ariel made is unbreakable. Ursula grabs Triton's trident, just as Eric arrives to assist. In the ensuing melee, Ursula accidentally kills her eels. Ursula, enraged, uses the trident to grow to monster proportions, and summons a storm to harm Ariel and Eric. In this storm, Ariel grabs a surfacing ship and changes the helm just in time to impale Ursula with its broken bowsprit. Triton resurrects after Ursula is murdered, and he and Ariel recognize each other's sacrifice for them. Eric is able to return home, where Selina recognizes Eric's true feelings for Ariel. Triton eventually recognizes that, while Ariel has returned home as he desired, she is sad. Triton permanently changes Ariel into a human at Sebastian's request, and she reunites with Eric. The couple decides to travel together, 
with the consent of both their parents and the approval of people from both worlds. And that marks the end of this romantic fantasy. Thanks for staying through the whole video. Make sure to stick around for more.